Hi everyone, my name is Michelle and I'm Mama Loves UGB here on Flosstube and this is my Flossmas Advent. We're on to the 12th of December, so welcome along. Um, it's going to be the usual mix of things. I've got a couple of extra bits and bobs to show you. I've got some stuff that I've been stitching on. Well, one thing that I've been stitching on that I thought you might want to see a little bit more progress on. Um, a couple of charts that I've uh, liked from the Just Cross Stitch uh, new magazine that's come out on Readly. And that reminds me, a couple of um, days ago I showed you an advent calendar that I had got from Cross Stitch Crazy magazine from November 2016. And a couple of people have said that they found it difficult to find the magazine. So I looked back on Readly and Readly have definitely got it logged as Cross Stitch Crazy November 2016. Now I've looked on the front cover of the magazine to see if I can find an issue number or any other information at all and I can't. So if you were looking for it and you're having trouble locating it, if you message me on Instagram I will send you a screenshot of the front cover of the magazine so that you know which one it is you're looking out for. But as I said, the information that Readly gives me is that it's Cross Stitch Crazy, November 2016. So, what have I been working on? I have still been working on, and I'm very nearly finished, the freebie that I showed you a couple of days ago from Pinker and Pumpkin blog, blog Spot. Not so easy to say. And this is the one that I was kind of doing a bit, uh, a bit deconstructed. So, here we go. This is where I've got to. So I have just about, I'll show you the, that bit there. I've just about finished the Santa, which is gonna be the bottom portion of the project. And I've just gotta run the border around here and add a few uh, little snowflake doodads. So if you haven't caught up um, from a couple of days ago, as I said, this is a freebie chart from Pinker and Pumpkin blog, blog spot. Again, I can't say it. Um, and it was a whole piece. And what I decided to do was take it apart and stitch the top and the bottom part separately. And I'm actually gonna make this into a pocket which sits on the bottom part. Speaking of making things, I am hoping that on Monday coming, I will be having a day of uh, making things, a day of finishing. Um, we had the news, I think I told you yesterday, that we have been told that as of today, today was our last day in school, so I'm filming this, um, as always, on the day before, so this is the 11th of December to me, but you'll see it on the 12th. So we were told that today was our last day of face-to-face -face school, and that we would be on to um, remote learning for the last week in Wales, secondary schools, countrywide. Um, I've also found out that the primary schools, most of the primary schools, their last day is Monday. So I've got one more day um, at home without my daughter. She'll still be at school for that last day. And I really want her to go along just for the last day. Um, and so I am gonna be doing some finishing. So I will have this stitched, finished tonight, I should think and then I will make it up along with a few other bits and pieces, fingers crossed, on on Monday. And there we are. The other couple of things that I have picked out to show you are a couple of the charts in the newest edition of Just Cross Stitch magazine, which has just come out on Readly. I don't know whether it's hit the, the newsstands yet, but it's just come out on Readly. And there was a Barbara Anna in there, and you know how much I like a Barbara Anna. And it's this one, it's called Winter Stitching. It's got some quite sort of tone on tone snowflakes in there. And then just a lovely wreath design with those little buildings there. And I actually don't have anything that's kind of finished in a hoop. So I may well just finish this one exactly like this when I get around to stitching it eventually. I think for me, I might brighten the colors slightly or darken the linen more than likely dark in the linen actually, just to make those stand out a little bit more because the the um, wreath is actually stitched in a very pale blue. I'm guessing it's Liberty Blue, which is the one that's shown on the bottom there. So that was one of the things that I really liked in the new Just Cross Stitch magazine. And the other one is this sampler. Um, which is called On Youth. Now it says it's a reproduction of an 1815 sampler 
with a quote, a quote from the English poet John Dryden. So I'll show it to you. And then I will read through the quote for you just in case as I'm weaving it about here you can't get a good um, a good pitch on it. So it says, on youth, fragrant the rose, but it fades in time. The violet sweet, but quickly past the prime. White lilies hang their heads and soon decay, and white as snow in minutes melts away. Such so, such and so withering are our early joys, which time or sickness speedily destroys. So another really cheery one there. I don't know what it is about these melancholy samples. I quite like them. Um, Maria Dale that I've just finished, she's a bit of a melancholy one as well. She's all sort of doom and gloom. So I don't know, maybe that's just the way the way I'm feeling at the moment. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm not feeling all doom and gloom, but I do like a good doom and gloom sampler. So that is called On Youth. Now it's charted, this one, in either a Vera Soir, uh, well it's charted in a Vera Soir, but it's got the DMC in as an alternative. But as quite often with the samplers that Just Cross Stitch magazine, puts in there is quite a lot of colours but it's a really nice sample I really really like that one so there's a couple of pics from the latest magazine if you haven't checked that out go and have a look and let's go with threads I'm really excited to get into my thread today I was thinking about it today I was finishing all my bits and bobs off at school so that I was free of everything that I needed from the building and it just sort of crossed my mind I was like <laughs> so Let's have a look. Number 12 is around this side this time. Let's see if I can get it without dropping it on the floor. Ooh. Ooh, a purpley one. Is it purpley? Let's have a look and see. River Rock. So it is, I would say it's browny purple or a purpley brown one of the two but that's a really nice colour really really nice colour I like that it's got some nice variegation in it as well so that is the one from today I have actually just ordered some more more threads from um, Pixie Needleworks because this Oh, it's going to fall on the floor. This gavel got me thinking that I really do want to do the Gentleman's Daughter by Plum Street Sampler. So I ordered the flosses for that. Um, and I also ordered from Patrick Rabbit my copy of the new Blackbird book, uh, the Autumn Winds. I'll put a picture of it up here. If you've not seen it, it is amazing it's got some fantastic designs on the cover um, the big strawberry with the bird on it that everyone was going crazy for um, and oh just so many different patterns I can't wait to show it to you I think it's in in stock on the on Tuesday so I'm hoping that I'll have it sometime sometime next week to show you so uh, yeah Patrick Rabbit have got pre-orders of those if you would like to get yourself a copy Let's do, let's do a freebie chart. Now this is a really, really recent one and it popped up and I liked it immensely. Really quick stitch, something to add to your, to a special gift or I think it would be look, look nice as just a little um, ornament on the tree. And it's this one. Now I'm going to have to have a go at pronouncing it. Corey E. Batakori. I'm going to go for that. It says, from me with love. And it's just a little tag sized piece. Now I found this on their blog spot. And what I did was I, I couldn't find the link to actually download it. It's definitely a freebie chart. Um, so what I did was I took a screenshot of the freebie chart. But um, because some of the website is in Italian, I couldn't find the exact link. But when I put it down below, I'll try and find the exact link that gets you to the download. Um, and if not, it'll take you to the blog spot where it is. It is free. And this is the chart for it. 
and what's really nice about this one I'll just hold it back out of the way is that you get it in three languages you've got it in um, English Italian and French so you could do you could do them in whatever language you wanted to they are 46 by 59 and they have got four colors and I'll show you that bit again really really nice quick stitch something to brighten up those presents for the special ones only the special ones freebie chart done Dick. okay last bit this is the past finishes this one was also a freebie actually from during lockdown by Tiny Modernist and you might recognise the pattern but I stitched mine in totally different colours. I picked out autumnal colours, um, most of them were Valdani's just because I happened to have some Valdani's that I wanted to try that I'd got in a, um, a sort of a mixed job lot. I really liked Valdani's, I know some people really don't like them. Um, I used a mixture of the ones that you that are like the DMC that are six strands and that you just separate out into two strands and the ones in the little ball that you just use as they are. So this is stitched on 32 count vintage exemplar and that is mine. Again it's stuffed with walnut shells. Now somebody um, quite rightly pulled me up on this one. I think a couple of times I may have actually said walnut crystals which obviously would be a real disaster if you tried to stuff your um, your your finishes with walnut crystals. So for those of you who aren't familiar and to make sure that I'm being really really clear, walnut crystals are what you use to make walnut dye with. They are very very dark, very light. You would need a truckload of them to stuff anything with. These are filled with walnut shells, crushed walnut shells, which are available for um, stuffing with pin cushions. But what I buy are the crushed walnut shells that are for the bottom of reptile um, enclosures, reptile cages. It's exactly the same stuff, um, but a bit cheaper. So there we go. Please don't make the mistake of putting walnut crystals into your little pillows it won't end well so that's home stitch home and as I said I just picked out my own colors did a little bit of satin stitch on the um, on the spools there picked out a couple of buttons I can't remember whether I replaced those and it wasn't charted with buttons but I can't think whether there was a little motif that I replaced or whether I just stuck them on I think I probably just stuck them on extra sewed them on and so that was one of my lockdown projects and it is actually a little pocket. So I made a little pocket with some of that batik fabric that I really like and just a little bit of um, velveteen ribbon and finished it off like that. The second previous finish I I've got. I know I showed you but I showed it in quite an early floss tube and it's from this book by Blackbird Designs which I know isn't in print um, at the moment but I managed to get it um, on eBay for about the same price as one of the new in fact it was, it was less than one of the new Blackbird books so I didn't think that was too bad really and it's got amazing projects in it. I've actually stitched a couple of, of projects from it. But the one I'm going to show you, or the two that I'm going to show you, are the first one is called Be Thou the Rainbow. And then the second bit is called Bluebirds, Needles and Pins. But I've stitched them together. So that is... Be Thou the Rainbow and this one is Bluebirds Needles and Pins. So because they're quite similar 
I did them as a sort of a matched set. This is my Bluebirds needles and pins. That's my Bluebirds needles and pins with again just using a couple of really nice um, is there only one on there? Yeah, just one on there. Mother of Pearl buttons just to add a little bit of interest. And I stitched this one or I finished this one by using the technique of sewing all the way around, turning it inside out and cutting a little um, sorry I'm fighting with something on the back here cutting a little slit to turn it inside out and me and this gourd pin are not going to win well I'm not going to win with this gourd pin so I do like these gourd pins but ah ha I did win so there's the back I just like to put these little gourd pins on a couple of buttons and a 2020 charm and I'm just about to buy some more charms and I noticed that Amazon has got a pack of the little charms which have got 2020, 2021 and 2022 in and I don't need the 2020 ones but um, it's such a cheap pack that it's worth getting it and just passing the 2020 ones on so I really like using those if you've got a design and you want to be able to rec sort of remember which year you stitched it on but you don't want to put anything actually stitched on the design and this is stuff with a mixture of walnut crystals and fiberfill and then the partner is this and I made this into a needle book so this is it on the inside it's just got this nice fabric I backed it with a bit of wadding and then I actually used exactly the same method as the pillow so I sewed sewed those two together I sewed that as a whole piece um, right sides together sewed all the way around it with including my bits of ribbon sticking out and then under here I cut a slit and turned the whole thing out and then when I um, actually use a little bit of fabric glue on this one I just put it around the edge there so I can still put um, other needles and things like that in there so it's a, it's a usable piece of felt it's just I, um, I decided to do that method because I didn't want to have any kind of seam um, or any, any over stitching on the seam which you'd normally get when you close something. I hope that made sense to you, <laughs> sorry if it didn't. So there's the design. I also changed it to just be the rainbow to the storms of life rather than be thou the rainbow. Um, just because I'm not a religious person and the inclusion of the word thou just made it seem a bit more religious to me and I'm not a religious person so I chose to take that out. And a little bit of wolf out there in complementary colours. Just sewed that in down the down the middle. Even got a needle in it. Is it a sewing needle? Yeah, it's a pointy needle. And then it just closes up like that. So there we are. Um, I hope that you have a very lovely weekend, and I hope that you will come and join me tomorrow. Uh, December is certainly whipping along. Don't forget if you want to join in the competition to win the Galliana cross stitch charts then please go back and look at the video which is entitled um, something 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 and a first for me. My brain's telling me it's something like the 8th of December. Um, and on there, if you want to enter the competition, you'll need to leave those couple of keywords and I'm going to be drawing the entries on the 14th of December and giving the winner's names on the 15th of December. So, cheerio, stay classy.